What's going on guys? This is Rami here with another Tech Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about something important. It has been brought to my attention that sometimes people think that smart homes are for rich people for some reason. But I'm going to walk you through some step-by-step -step things and I'm not going to talk long. I'm just going to get straight into it. Now, having a smart home doesn't necessarily have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. That's why I just don't understand how people can, and sorry for the echo here, but I just don't understand how people can think that the smart home is for the rich person when it's all really affordable if you think about it. Now here's the thing, smart home, uh, you can buy little things here, that's Thor barking by the way, but you don't have to go all out and buy expensive gear or anything. I think the most expensive thing that you'll spend money on is probably the Echo. Now if you start going more and more in depth, then yeah, you might spend a little bit more money. Now when we're talking about the Echo, we're talking about anything that has to do with the Amazon industry. The Echo Spot, the Echo Dot, the Echo Show, and I'm sure that there's pretty much a couple more out there, but, but what I want to try to get to is this thing cost about 30 bucks. Now last year when I went to Black Friday with my wife, we bought an Echo Show and they gave us a free Echo Spot, which was really cool. You can connect this with your TV if it's smart. You can connect this to any light bulb that you have individually. And I mean, it's just pretty simple. Alexa, turn on front door light. Now it's Christmas time and it's the season to put up Christmas lights and it's even better because when you're at home and resting and well, you don't want to go ahead and go outside to wherever you have your Christmas lights and plug in that light to then later on in a few hours have to unplug it because it's time to go to bed. I mean, that's what I do. Uh, I personally don't like to leave my Christmas lights on throughout the whole night, not because of energy consumption. I just don't want a fire to happen. So it's very simple to just say, Alexa, turn on Christmas lights. And that's it. That's all you have to do is just say the command. Now it's this simple. You buy one of these plugs and then you go ahead and connect it to your Wi-Fi and then to your Alexa and just assign a name to it, meaning Christmas lights. So when I tell Alexa to turn on the Christmas lights, she just turns on this plug and that's it. I understand that technology and some people just don't understand it and that's, that's fine. I'm gonna walk you through some of the steps. It's very, very simple. It's really not that difficult. Now, mind you, these type of devices don't connect to 5G connections. They only connect to 2.4G connections. And the reason why... Now, the reason why they only connect to 2.4 connections is because 2.4 gigahertz can travel farther. And when you have a, a, a connection, that, and when you have a connection that travels farther, you can connect more things to it. Download Smart Life application. Uh, so I went ahead and connected to my internet because I was on I was on the 5G internet, but I need to be on the 2G internet or the 2.4G internet. Make sure that your phone is connected to the 2.4G. After you're done setting up everything and you just want to go back to normal life, you can go ahead and back on the 5G. All right, so following the instructions, it tells me everything that I need to do here. It says turn on and off the switch three times, but see mine, when I got it, it said to do it five times, so I just remember that and I just do that. So I follow the instructions, confirm rapidly, yes, it is going back and forth. So right now the process is just going through it, it's connecting the Wi-Fi uh, light bulb and just putting it and pairing it together with the internet. Mind you, my Wi-Fi, my router is probably about 15 to 20 feet and if max, it's probably about 25 feet away from the actual light bulb. But remember, 2.4 gigahertz extends that far. So you wanna be on that Wi-Fi. Now it is saying that the device is found and it's registering everything with the application. This is a really good application. I've used it for a very long time. Now you really don't need an Echo to manipulate these electronics. You could actually just use this application. There's been plenty of times where I have left the house and I forgot to turn off the front door light 
or I'm on my way home and I need to turn on the front door light, so I just use the application because I don't have an Alexa around me. But now in days, we do have the Echo Auto, which is kind of cool, but I personally don't see myself using it just because I have a cell phone. After that is set up and your Wi-Fi is connected and all that, you go ahead and you name it whatever you want to name it. Then you jump into your Alexa app and you want to go ahead and enable that application to work with Alexa. Go on the left hand corner and go to skills and games. And after you go to skills and games, um, you're going to go ahead and type on the search smart light. Alright, so after you open your Alexa app and you went to the top left corner and you hit uh, skills and games, you want to go ahead on the search, type up smart life and it's that first one right there. And then it, it says disable skill on mine, but you want to go ahead and enable it and then Alexa will do its thing and then that's it. After that is after that is done, you can go ahead and command Alexa to turn on front door light. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But if anything, go ahead and check out the other videos that I have posted up. Links is in the description below where you can get yourself the socket and the light bulb. Now on the recommendation of Amazon Echo or the Google Home, I do recommend the Amazon Echo just because you buy a bunch of stuff with Amazon and you could track your orders and set up your account on there and yeah, it's pretty simple and easy. Versus Google Home, you really don't have a Google shop. It's, it's just weird. Hope you guys like this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Randy with another Tech Talk. Deuces. Only you can make these dry bones come alive.